Welcome back, Guardians. My name is Easy Now, and you guys are awesome. But what is awesome is having beaten hard mode Oryx three times. And as you can see, I have the emblem three times right there to prove that I have done it three times on different characters. So, first and foremost, the highest light level I could be on all three characters is 310 on my Hunter. 310 minimum on my titan but i'm not sure if you can get to 311 yet but definitely the warlock can reach 311 as you can see on screen so i'm going to have a look briefly at what the hunter and titan have and then everything that my warlock got too so first and foremost the hunter let's go so this is my hunter and first and foremost i'm going to show you that i got a 310 ghost out of Oryx, I believe, on my Hunter. So, you know, that just goes well where I don't have to keep moving the same ghost from character to character. I could just leave this on my Hunter, so that is awesome. Next, I got... Well, I didn't get these, but I had a 310 Harrowed Hand Cannon. I couldn't remember what it was called then. The Zeoli's Bane. And I infused that into my Not Like The Others, which took it to 304 Attack. And I also had a couple of other primary weapons from the initial raid, which were around 310 because I was infusing into them. And I infused my Doom of Chelchis with fully auto into my Boolean Gemini to put that light level up too. And I did get another Doom of Chelchis, the Harrowed version, which you'll see on my other character. But the only other thing I got for my Hunter was the 315 Defense Gauntlets. And that is awesome. That put the light level up dramatically. And what I have on it is intellect and strength, and I can increase the intellect, which is what I do. I can retrieve bonus melee energy for each enemy standing nearby you when you get a kill, or I can have increases grenade throw distance. I'm obviously going to have glutton on there. I've also got increased reload speed for shotguns, which is a great perk across the board, but you know, it's neither here nor there in the raid because I use sniper mainly. And then obviously we have faster weapon reload while in an aura. So that is my Hunter and everything I got on that character. As you can see, the 310 Quillum's Terminus is still here. I may infuse that into something else and you'll find out why when I get to my Warlock. So let's move on to my Titan. So on my Titan, I actually got a normal shotgun, the Silence of Aeon at 300 defense, I believe. And I put it into my Immobius just to push that up to 299. Anyway, above all that, for the raid gear, I got a 313 class item, which has intellect and discipline on, which is great. And I got 311 boots with intellect and discipline. So great rolls on the intellect and discipline side. The perks that I have though is shotgun ammo and machine gun ammo. Now the machine gun arrow is probably the better choice because of the fact that I use the Quillum's Terminus against Ogres and against the Shade of Oryx at Oryx in the final fight. I also have Fist Flying Gainer, boost to agility per melee kill, stacks for 20 seconds. And Solar Double Down, increased agility for 5 seconds after a Solar Double Kill. Now I use, probably mostly going to use um, Bobble in the raid. So I'm probably going to go with the Fist Flying just to get that extra agility from melee kills when I'm punching random frows and of course the increased agility while torn between dimensions and I don't know why I said that these look incredible by the way I love the way they look without a shader like the purpley black color um, I'm hoping to get full raid gear on the Titan because I believe the Titan looks the best in full raid gear that's just my personal opinion though but let's move on to the Warlock now my Warlock had some great drops, but unfortunately they were duplicates of other stuff. So first and foremost, I got the class item at 315, that's awesome. It had discipline and strength though, which was a bit of a shame. I think I would have preferred intellect, but still not a bad defense value roll. Probably one of the better ones that I got. I also have 314 Harrowed Path of Zoles. Now I did have a 311 version of these and they were a crap roll, crap defense. So I automatically infused them into my original Path of Zoles, which had some great perks for me in the raid, especially that increase in the amount of sniper rifle ammo you can carry. Um, that was definitely useful against ogres and such things. But now I have that same role on my new Harrowed Path of Zoles, which I actually got last night, and I can increase the sniper ammo as well. So I'm going to be leveling those up, and I'm probably going to infuse those into one of these other legs that I have, because as people know, I'm trying to get as many different armors and armor sets and get them to the highest light level possible. So the normal raid stuff, I feel like I'm just going to forget about and then have vanguard crucible armor sets to boot um, and then on top of that we have a quillum's terminus harrowed version i did have one at 311 that was the first drop i got in the hard mode 
but it had useless rolls. I did level it up anyway, but then this dropped separately at 315, so the other one was infused into my sleeper simulant, I believe, yes it was, and my new raid machine gun was leveled up because it has great perks. We also have the Harrow Doom of Chelchis, which is my latest weapon, and it actually was very, very good in my opinion. I had a fully auto norm, normal Doom of Chelchis, and fully auto is a great perk to have on it. Not necessary to have, but it's useful. So I got a 314 attack version of this, and I have two range perks. We have hand loaded. This weapon is effective at an extended range and range finder. Aiming this weapon increases its effective range. And I also have small bore to increase that range even further and the stability. So I love this version of this weapon because range is the new in perk. It's the perk that you have to have to have better better useful guns so you know range is a very important perk so to have two range perks to choose from and two separate ones is awesome so you know i've got a real range of range <laughs> um, but yeah i'm very happy to have this gun as well because it is my favorite raid armor and weapon you know this is my favorite thing to have the Quillum's Terminus is a close second but this weapon is awesome and it looks incredible as the harrowed version so that guys is all my raid drops for week one out of the hard mode raid reset is today so we're going to be running it again so expect another video towards the end of the week with some more drops now that we have it down and everyone's a little bit of a higher light level so let me know in the comment section what light level you reached what weapons and armors you got what rating value they were tell me what you think of the hard mode you know hit that comment section hard guys hit the like button if you wish to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video Oh, oh, oh.